fabulous Orpheum Theater. Yes, my name is Maxwell DeMille, your master of ceremonies this evening. And tonight, it is my pleasure to take you back to the era of the Roaring Twenties. We present to you, for your entertainment and approval, our little presentation entitled Broadway Rhythm. And to start things off, in honor of Mr. Rudolph Valentino, our star of the evening, we present to you the tango, featuring a dance couple, two dance couples, brought here at great expense from Europe. We will, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Conservancy has spared no expense. So tonight, we bring you the Marquis de San Marco, his lovely, the Marquis de San Marco, and his lovely partner, the Princess Nova Mali, and they will be joined by Baron Ashkenazi and Lady Pamela Rockberg, as they present to you the tango, the dance, of 1,000 Passions. The Marquis de San Marco, the Princess Nova Mali, Baron Ashkenazi, and Lady Pamela Rockberg. <laughs> now, of course, some of you may already know the sad tale of Rudolph Valentino, who left us at a far too early age. Of course, The Son of the Sheik was his last picture. It's a sad Hollywood tale, ladies and gentlemen. However, there are thousands of sad Hollywood tales yet unknown to us. <laughs> Many come to Hollywood to make their way into the motion pictures. Few succeed. However, we do have a tale of one poor lass who came to Hollywood to get into the pictures. And here to sing this sad tale, the one, the only, Mr. Tin Pan Alley, as he presents Hollywood Rose. Ladies and gentlemen, Richard Halpern. <laughs> Out in the west, the sun is forever shining. There is a rose that's pining One little human rose that I chance to know Poor little Hollywood rose So all alone No one in Hollywood knows How sad 
she's grown Her lips keep trying to smile But all the while They're hiding a heartache That she has known From way back there she came In search of wealth and fame But it's a losing game Wherever she goes, they laugh at Hollywood Rose and tell poor Hollywood Rose nothing for you today. They call her Hollywood Rose. She's all alone. No one in Hollywood knows how sad she's grown. Her lips keep trying to smile, but all the while they're hiding all the heartache and pain that she's known. From way back there she came to search for wealth and fame, but it's a losing game that she must play. applause for the master of the keys here, Mr. Dean Mora himself. <laughs> and say, Dean, you just happen to have brought your entire dance orchestra here with you. Yeah. They're hidden, sequestered behind this curtain. <laughs> and don't worry, folks, that's there for your benefit to prevent them from leaping out into the audience. And please, no flash photography of the band. They are restrained with chains made of chromium steel. However, <laughs> your flash bulbs may cause a bad reaction. So now, it is my pleasure to present a number that highlights this fine dance orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for Mora's Modern Rhythmist Dance Orchestra. <laughs>
Morris Modern Rhythmist Dance Orchestra. Thanks, fellas. And now it's time for a dance of magic and mystery. And here to assist, these two gentlemen are bringing out the chairs of destiny. <laughs> Thank you, fellas. And here to perform this dance of magic and mystery, welcome once again, the Marquis, the Princess, the Baron, and the Lady. those chairs up like you were ordered. <laughs> How about another rank? big round of applause for the Marquis, the Princess, the Baron, and the Lady. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, for our final number of the evening, for this show that is, we take you to the mysterious land of Egypt. And tonight, we have a special treat in store for you. Yes. I've received numerous telegrams and cables, lots of them, requests in regards to Mr. Dean Morris singing. And in spite of all that, we're gonna let him sing anyway. <laughs> Sit down. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the Hollywood Hornets and their rendition of Egyptian Ella.
Thomas Richard Halpern.